Hello friends, this is going to be a little first impressions video, slash review, slash tutorial, whatever you want to call it, of a little game called Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. This game just recently became free to play on the PlayStation 4, it's been on the PC for a little bit longer. Here's the controls, real quick, um, a lot of time you're just hitting circle to attack, but you can change your formations and level up and... We'll get into all that in a second. But first of all, this is an idle game, so what that means is it's not so much of an active game where you have to sit there and, and do a whole lot of things like most games. It's the kind of game where you can actually set it up and you can even set your controller down. And um, if you need to clean your room or something, you can do it because, for example, right now I've been playing this whole time. And I have everything set up right now where my formation is auto attacking. And that's the name of the game is changing the formation of this team here you know I can move these guys around and depending on how you organize them they give each other different buffs so another thing to note is this game is a platinum trophy and it's free to play and a, a lot of trophy hunters out there would love to hear that and the fact that it's based in the dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons official world um, so the Wizards of Waverly Coast or whatever the company is called you know they're part of this <clears throat> so I'm gonna read from the actual steam page real quick as you're just watching a little idle gameplay idle champions of the forgotten realms is an official Dungeons and Dragons idle strategy management game idle champions challenges players to assemble a party of champions and master the art of formation strategy players unlock new heroes upgrade them to reveal special abilities and collect epic gear the key to glory is learning how to combine champion abilities to defeat an onslaught of powerful monsters. So some of the key features, you can unlock renowned champions and they have special events, fan favorites, things like that. Formation strategy, <coughs> excuse me, mastering the position of each champion to maximize their special abilities is the key to completing each adventure. Each champion's abilities and gear requires careful thought to create the best combination. Only the most powerful formations will defeat the waves of Dungeons and Dragons monsters. That sounds fun in itself. And I know this game gets a lot harder. And if you look at the reviews for this game on, on computer, on PC, on Steam, there's people with 10,000 hours of this game. 8,000 hours. You know, I'm looking at 6,000 hours, 2,000 hours. That's a lot of hours playing a game. So it's definitely not for everybody because it's a clicker. And it's, you know, it's not like you're playing Call of Duty where you're shooting everything that you see. Ooh, we just got a trophy, by the way. Okay, so let's get into the nitty-gritty here, and we'll just kind of start playing it. I really haven't played a whole lot of the game, but at first I want to look at the map. Gotta love maps and games. Alright, so we're up top here. We're playing like, we're right in the beginning of the game. I may be, I may be uh, half an hour in. So there's the map, whatever awesome um, blessings so I think this is kind of like some of the microtransactions because it's a free game there's definitely plenty of microtransactions and that's probably gonna be the biggest complaint about the game but this is the good stuff right here oh man so if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons <clears throat> you'd love this right here this is essentially your character card so this is Brunor He's a shield dwarf fighter and he's neutral good. That's his alliance, neutral good. His strength is 17, dexterity is 10, constitution 16, intelligence 8, wisdom 13, and charisma 12. So essentially he's just a strong, brutal dude with good strength, which is like a like melee damage and constitution, which is his health. <clears throat> and I've got more characters here. Here's a cleric, so she's kind of like a healer mage. We got... A paladin, which is kind of like an attacking healer kind of dude, which, which gives you buffs. A rogue, good for doing critical. I mean, here's a bard. Oh, who doesn't love a bard? Wizard, we got ranger, sorcerer, warlock, druid. So I've only unlocked a few of these. And they each have their own ultimates and specials. And you can, um, for example, if you go to our, our tank here, Brunor, <clears throat> I've got the sharpened axe equipped. And he's got a few abilities here. And a few perks. And speaking of Brunor, I've got his ultimate unlocked, so if I want to use it right now, I'll use this bash move. If 
you look on the bottom of the screen, it does 367 million damage. Boom! And I can hit circle here, tap circle, and we're attacking. I can hit R2 and triangle here to kill that bird. That'll give you like extra money. So if you're, you can let it be idle and it'll kind of just slowly level you up. Or if I sit here and I tap circle and I kill all these things easier and I use my ultimates, it'll go, you'll get more experience. But you can just sit there and not even play it. R2 and triangle to kill that bird. Sorry, bird. But back to this stuff here. Um, so we were at the character cards here and we were going through all these. Let's go to milestones. This will just track your progress, different things, different trophies, I'm assuming. Inventory. So I was going to open uh, some chests. Make sure if you do download this, there's some free uh, DLC for PlayStation Plus members. So let's open a chest. Open a gold chest. Let's see what we get. Ooh, five items. Little bounty. Oh, okay. Soft cloth eye patch for that character. Fire breath potion. Buffs. Ooh, a little necklace. And I believe it automatically <clears throat> equips these items. So let's make sure that Nayeli's uh, little necklace thing there is equipped. So let's go to Nayali here. Let's hit triangle for details. And I'm pretty sure if I just scroll down, see, it automatically equipped it. Ooh, what was that guy saying? I missed it. Whatever. Oh, hey, buddy. Got a bounty contract. If he's interested in earn a boatload of gold, you can find them in your inventory here. That's cool and all, but you know, that sounds awesome. But right now, we're on to other things. So kind of what I want to do is just kind of start to progress. Because I really haven't played a whole lot, and I don't really... I'm not convinced whether it's good or bad yet. And I'm kind of in a loop right now where I can just keep... I can just really sit here and farm forever if I wanted to. I could just, could just probably get a ton of millions of gold. Oh, but before we advance, let's level up some guys. So if you look on the top left, I have 3.65 million gold. I'm at 83.8 million DPS damage per second. I to my Torm is one. I don't know what the heck that means. And as I showed you earlier, you know, you can, we can move our characters around. Okay, I'm still kind of a noob at this. So we can pick up Brunor. So he's our tank, so let's put him right in the front. And then, I feel like this guy is kind of like a little barbarian type character. And let's get our bard. He's like a Lancer, he's our critical guy. Ah, whatever. This is probably a horrible formation, but we're gonna roll with it. And we're gonna start leveling things up, so... I've been leveling this up a bunch. This, if I level up my player attack, that's kind of my circle attack, so I'm, if I'm hitting circle right here, I'm just hit mash and circle, I attack way faster. You can see how... Just... Attack, 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 attack. Oh, I mean, we're kicking these guys' butt so fast, but... So I'm going to level that up for 50,000, and it's going to go, my attack is going to go from 10k damage to 20.3 damage, 20.3 thousand damage, so it's, it doubled in damage, leveling that up. So we can also level up Brunor, let's kill that bird, Nayeli, and the higher the, the level of the characters, the more it costs to level them up, and we're going to level up Celeste. So we're going to hit square a few times. See how I keep hitting square and leveling her up. She's eventually going to get to 40. Ooh. And she just unlocked, I believe, her ultimate. Nope. Didn't. Dang it. I was hoping we'd get her ultimate. Because if we go to her ultimate, um, Celeste calls forth a pillar of flame centered on a random enemy. And I've already unlocked the ultimate for this guy. He unlocks the Brunor delivers a devastating blow to the closest enemy. I do that by using this button right here, bash. I just can hit X and bash and I can use an ultimate. So it does get a little deeper. If you're worried that you just hit one button the whole time, there's more to it. Especially when you start fighting more difficult stuff. This is kind of just way easy peasy stuff. So we could keep leveling, you know, we could level this person up, but you have to get him all the way up to the next bar to really make it worth it. So we're just kind of, kind of... I think we're going to try to get Celeste back up another to level 50. So we're going to 
Level her up, bang bang. We're spending a bunch of money, but it's fine. We, there it is. So level 50 is your ultimate attack unlock. So again, we're gonna Celeste calls forth the pillar of centered. Oh, random flame strike. Okay, here we go. Let's use it. Oh, see, now I have two ultimates. I already used his bash. So I gotta wait another 10 seconds to use it. But we can use the flame strike. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes. See, this is getting good. And I'm sure that this game will get a lot harder. It's not going to be normally this easy. This is just, if you look on the top right of the screen, a brief tour of the realms. I'm still in the tutorial. And I've been sitting here farming for so long that my guys are just way overpowered. So we leveled up Celeste a bunch. We got her to level 50. We got her ultimate unlocked. I could maybe afford to get this person to level 50. But as you see, to, you know, this person's level 1. It takes a million just to level them up to level 2. Scroll through them quick again. Warlock, Druid, Barbarian, Paladin. Milestones are the achievements. Things like that. Here's our inventory. We already looked at some of this. Here's the shop. This is where you pay the real money. Oops. So you can just buy stuff. Whatever. You gotta make money somehow, I guess. Familiars reaching 66 in any campaign. Usually a familiar means like a a pet or a follower. Companion type thing. But, you know, I think we've seen a lot. And we're going to start advancing through the game. Let's just collect some of this stuff. Maybe level up a little bit. Let's see if we can get Nayeli to level. Well, how much is this? No, let's level this up. We're going to go from 20,000 damage per circle hit to 41,000. Alright. I hate to continue because I feel like this is just an easy way to level up. But, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to hold right on my joystick and we're going to progress. Let's see what kind of campaign this has. You've stumbled into a dryad's grove. And she doesn't seem too happy that you've been slaughtering her forest friends. Looks like we're going to fight a boss here. There she is. Oh, man. We're about to... Oh, see? <laughs> that was way too easy. But that's because I've been sitting here just farming while I've been preparing for this little gameplay review type thing. So let's collect all those gems. Oh, gems. <laughs> I'm sure normally the bosses will be harder. But I think you, I probably shouldn't even have five characters yet. The rain isn't making things any more pleasant, Brunor. Suck it up, elf! Ooh, it's like a little uh, Legolas versus Gimli, Lord of the Rings comedy thing going. We got it. I like it. All right. So we're creeping. And again, I really don't have to hit a single button if I don't want to. But if I hit circle, I attack a lot faster. I do a bunch of damage. So, I know I've kind of been over that already. If we go to inventory, oh, this is just our chests and our gems. We got a bounty contract and a little potion breath. Thing. Area complete. Oh, more than help us. There'll be a southern edge to the web until we've gotten blah blah blah. We're out of the woods, but we're not out of the woods yet. Whatever that means. Again, if I go to the shop. Look, is there? Is that a farm? Says Naeli. Bruno, perhaps the farmer can point us in the direction of the coast road. The southern edge of winter is separately populated and just as dangerous as the wood itself. Oh, see how he stabs him from behind? I love it. Ooh, giant frog. Use this flame strike again. And the bash. So I'm sure when you're playing harder enemies, you're going to want to time these ultimates better. Whoa, we're collecting a bunch of flowers now. If you see on the top of the screen, I can hold R2 and square. And I just keep mashing it, and eventually it'll like open it up, whether it's a guy in a bush or a thing under a rock, or it's like those birds flying by, same thing. Who should we level up? Should we try to get Nayeli to level 50? Let's do it. We're committed. Oh, we're spending millions. Okay, what's Nayeli's up? Oh, we're out of money. Oh, no. <laughs> it's alright. 
three more levels and we'll have what's let's see her let's check out her ultimate ultimate vanishing smite Nally deals massive damage to a random enemy and stuns all enemies Ooh, stuns I love stuns oh oops okay we, we just must have just collected enough flowers to progress it seems a little quiet and these cows something something oh we're fighting cows oh they're cursed cows that's awesome Let's level up our player attack again. These are pretty cheap. We're going to 41,000k to 83k. So I'm pretty much just one-shotting these cows. And don't get turned away by how easy this looks. It'll definitely get way harder. Where, you know, right now I have this, this crappy formation of all my dudes. You can save formations, so... And I'm sure the harder it gets, you'll be swapping formations on the get-go. Let's say all of a sudden you come across a wave of melee enemies, you'll want a certain formation, but let's say eventually it swaps to a wave of ranged enemies, you'll want a different formation. And certain formations, maybe you'll come across fire enemies or, or ice enemies. I'm sure that's where the formations are going to come really into play. And they're going to really push it. Because if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons or any type of challenging RPG, it's, a lot of it sometimes is about party composition and strategy and positioning. So that's why I'm liking it so far. So we're just clicking away. Kind of a relaxing experience. Not a whole lot to get super stoked about, but it looks like we're up to level 19, whatever that means. I think we're like stage 19 or cursed farmer you have to excuse me I don't speak crazy <laughs> good one the farmer is wearing a cursed medallion put him out of his misery oh I mean we could just take the thing maybe he won't be cursed anymore we're just fighting cows oh yeah we're making our making him our bitch sorry get some more gems cool and like a lot of free-to-play games, they start off pretty easily. But even Dungeons and Dragons, it usually starts off fairly easily. I recognize this though. The connection uh, is less traveled and prone to banditry. So we're going to run into bandits. Guaranteed. We got 1.45 million, so we can't quite get Nihility. Oh, maybe. Level up. Nope. We need 8... 119k to get Nihility her ultimate which was that uh, stun move slash damage but let's just start blasting through this and try to progress to some more difficult stuff now that we got the basics down too easy Or imp level 22. See, they're getting a little harder. And I'm not even using my ultimates here. Might as well just use them. Ooh, there's bats now instead of birds. Oop, my Ellie can level up. Here we go. Banishing Smite. Let's try it out. Oh, we beat the beat the area. Banishing Smite. Ooh, a strange orb. Let's kick its ass. There's a strange artifact in the center of the tower. Spawning the imps. Blah, blah, blah. Banishing Strike. Let's see it. Boom! Okay. Nothing too crazy. Tap, 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 tap. Circle, 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 circle. Okay, you can also hold... I can hold circle. So if I hold circle, it does like an auto attack. It's not, it's, I'd say it's like half as fast as tapping it as fast as I can, but it's a lot easier than tapping it. I can just hold it, like right now I'm holding it. 
Look out the window, there's smoke to the west. Other travelers? Perhaps they've encountered similar madness on the road. So we'll advance. As you hurry down the trail, the smell of smoke becomes more apparent and the air becomes hazy. Fighting bears, level stage 24. <clears throat> we got 3.45 million gold. So I'm curious. So Brunor was the first guy I unlocked. He's the easiest one to level up. Let's keep leveling him up because it's so cheap. It's only 529 gold. I have 5 million, so let's just bash him up. Let's see what it does. He leveled up. Extra damage, 100%. Level 125. Damage, 300%. Okay, I like it. Let's start leveling up Celeste. We're going to get her up. It's probably going to be like the same thing, I'm assuming. Ooh, 400% damage by Celeste. 300% damage by Celeste. Ooh. This is feeding my, like, fiending of wanting to level things up in video games. Ah, Ian, it's a fire, but not through many natural means, if you catch my drift, Celeste. Everyone be careful. Burns are pain to heal. Oh, she's a healer. I kind of wish I could pause this game, but you actually can't really pause it, no matter what you do. Oh, we're fighting fire guys now. I like it. Oh, I like that. When we're killing pelicans or something. Oh, they're getting a lot harder. Let's use Bash. Oh, see, we're taking damage now. Let's go. So, does it show my health here? I don't know. I use it up on my ultimates on those weak guys. <clears throat> but we're learning. Just like in Dungeons and Dragons, you don't you don't want to like waste all your specials because oh crap, can I help? wonder if I can move. I need to move you. No! Nailly died. You bastard! He's the uh, smite move. Oh I can't. Oh crap. Get my ass kicked now. Holy shit. Um, what do I do? Oh my god, he's one shot me. Oh my god. <laughs> now we're talking. This is good. I'm, he killed everybody. He killed everybody. Wow, so maybe it'll allow me to like farm here. Oh, but yeah, we're getting a ton of money from all these things. Okay, so we kind of just got to fight a little bit longer. And I kind of got to... I should probably like change my loadout here. But I'm really gra glad that I died there because... <laughs> I was saying it's too easy and all of a sudden he just... That one boss wiped out my whole team. But we sh what we really should be looking at is... All my little perks here that I have, I should, I, I'm sure I could line, I could line up my group better. So let's see if I can see here. So if you look at um, rally, increases damage of champions in the same column by 100%. Okay, Brunor. Okay, that's Celeste. Increased damage of all. Ch Heals champions in column in front of Celeste for 4.5 every second. So she can hear you. So I gotta keep Celeste in the back. So we're gonna just put her all the way in the back. Um, Nayeli, let's go to this bard real quick. Details. She hits the two closest enemies with her attack, okay. She has no outgoing ability. Okay, I have to level her up more. So she just heals herself all the time. So she's another healer. We're going to keep her behind everybody as well. You know, okay, I already see what I was doing wrong a little bit. So, Jarl Axel. Let's look at him a little bit. Um, he attacks pe pe people the furthest away. That's his primary attack. His ultimate... He's going to hit a bunch of enemies with his ultimate once I get that unlocked. 
increases damage, so he doesn't have any team perks yet. But I know Nayeli does. Let's get all these let's get all these guys in the same row. So Nayeli, let's look at her again. Is that a female? Swing, uh targets the closest enemy. Increases the damage of champions in the column behind Nayeli by 100%. So let's make sure we have somebody behind Nayeli. Nayeli also increases damage of all champions 50% for each enemy attacking Nayeli. Increases damage by 100%. Okay, so let's get somebody behind Nayeli. Somebody already is, the bard is. Okay, that's cool. And then last but not least is Brunar. And we already looked at him, but he's got damage of champions in the same column by 100%. So I'm not sure if column is like vertical or if that's horizontal. We're just gonna assume vertical. Let's pick all this crap up. So I'm liking this formation a lot more. I feel like we're maximizing things. I had it really crappy earlier. So, and I have all, all my ultimates saved up. And you know what, let's level up. I got 32 million right now, holy crap. Okay, let's level some stuff up. Let's level up. Weren't we trying to get somebody else? Let's get Celeste up to now. 50, no. If we get Yarlax to 50, probably not. How much is this guy to buy? 50 million. Ooh. We could maybe just save up to get... Oh, it's going to be a while. Let's buy this person next map, next level after we beat this boss. Because 50 million shouldn't be too hard to get once we're farming the next level. But I, I got 33 million if I just hit circle. 35. Eh. Okay, we're gonna try to get just some more of this. We're just gonna get our damage up a bit here. Um, not so much. I should've done this earlier, probably. Okay. 10 million. Okay, now it's getting really expensive. <coughs> That's probably how I should have it. Now I can hit circle and just do freaking 5 million damage per, or 11 million damage per hit. Okay, so I think we're ready to advance. Let's do it. I hope we fight that boss again. All the three ultimates. Kick his butt. Don't die. I wonder if there's like a heal. I could use that potion if I wanted to. We're just gonna keep attacking. Don't die this time. There you go. We got further than last time. Already got a shield down. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try something. can't move them if they're hurt or something. Dang it. So they seem to attack. Okay, let's keep mashing a circle. Uh, no! Oh, we got him. Oh, do we? <sighs> Hopefully all my guys respawn. Complete area 25 and adventure. Trophy. 37 million or 30 million tutorial list kill that bird so I can complete adventure your champions levels were reset for your what but all your implement what so if I complete the adventure my levels were reset do I have to do that new map can't view map. You're being forced to complete. Okay, fine. Complete the adventure. Are you telling me I gotta reset all my characters' levels? I mean, I'm not gonna be mad. I've never played a game like this, so let's just roll with it. One hour, 30 minutes. But you probably could have beat... I could have probably beat that in... 
I don't know, 25 minutes, but a lot of it was spent preparing. You know, I was just sitting there being idle. Cool. We're going to continue. Highest damage dealt in the alley. I got 100 gems or whatever those things. I don't know what those are. New adventure unlocked. Brief escort through the realms. Take a journey down the sword coast with the wagon. Nice. Brunor. Ah, the sword coast home. There's plenty to do, but first we have someone finish his business in the last adventure. Press X to view adventures. This here adventure, Ryan. It's a twist on the base adventure that adds extra challenge. So I can replay it, and it's even harder. I don't really want to. I don't know. Being forced to start. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's do all the things you want to do. Ooh, trophy. A brief tour. Beat the tutorial. My old friend just... Ah. Oh. You were a few hours past driving mining stronghold on the Marbar when suddenly Gnolls attack you. Look familiar? Except for this blast of wing. Don't fret. Reset again. Wow, everything did reset. I gotta rebuy all these guys. Hmm. I wonder if that's how it always works. Let's see, you're only a few hours past the Droven Mining Stronghold Marble when you suddenly ignores attack you. Cool, okay. But now it's a lot more active. Like, now that I started over, I'm gonna try to just get this dude to level 10 real quick. Get him just high damage and just start blasting through. It's starting to grow on me. Okay. I like chill games like this where you can, you know, if you're like in the middle of texting somebody or watching a movie or whatever and you like to get trophies or keep your mind busy on something besides what you're doing, multitasking. Seems to be a good game. I could just sit here and hold circle. Does it a little quicker. Okay. Up. How much to buy her? 50 gold? Let's just wait to buy her for 50. Okay, so now on the top of the screen we're back at level 1, level 2 now. So it probably just gets a little higher every quest you do. Complete. <laughs> Alright, we can buy her. Here you go, Celeste. We've traced the gnolls back to their camp. Wish I could like have a tactical pause or something when I'm moving these guys around. But there's probably an easier way to do it that I haven't learned yet. And it begins again. But now there's a little more strategy now that there's just two of my characters and now that I know what I'm doing, I'm not just kinda guessing what's going on. Let's level him up. See, now he's got an extra 100% damage. We should start blasting through. Oh, area complete. These ruins have been the source of rare magical equipment for an adventure party like ours. Hold on, we can keep a lookout for anything that looks... Oh, crap, I shouldn't have said Different kind of dwarves. Hmm. Level 4 gnolls. But I think I've kind of covered the gist of it, and I've got a good first impression, and I do like it, and I will play it some more. But it's probably not the most entertaining thing to watch. So, either you like it or you didn't. I'm sure by now you'd either, you've kind of decided if you'd either play it or you wouldn't. It's kind of game that's probably on a, on Android or, a, or iPhone. I haven't looked, honestly, but it's not like it's that graphically demanding or anything, and you're, it's kind of a clicker. You could just be tapping the screen and... I'll probably check it out and see if I can download it on my phone, because, ooh, I can upgrade the player attack. Because I'd probably, uh, give it a try. Let's give him a level 10. Oops. But yeah, that was my first first impression of Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, a Dungeons and Dragons game. Thanks for tuning in. Hope I helped. Clever Trev, over and out.